you, I shouldn't see nothing yeah. part of your body, right, Reed? With shame facedness uh, and sobriety! Yeah. Sobriety yeah. means you can't be drunk. You gotta learn how to dress right, and you gotta learn how to get drunk, sis. Right. Not right. giving right. to much wine, sis. Look, what right. you got in your cup? What you got in your cup? Wait, hold on, wait, now, I'm a sister, know what you got in your cup. It's not apple juice. You know it's not no damn apple juice. No. It's liquor. Wait, it's no. a sin to get drunk. So when you're not sober, you're walking around like this sister came up no. and she couldn't even answer my question. Look, right, she wobbling a little bit. If she did that little test that the cops do, she will fail. She will go to jail. Hey, this is the truth. That's take my time to read it. It's real interesting. They got a lot of truth in here. And if y'all read it, y'all find out what's going on in the floor today. I love my black men. I love my black men. Honestly, I put my shit in park behind this. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. We're here for the Black Bike Week Festival. What are we doing? We're out here showing our people there's a better way. There's yeah. a better example. We on your street every day, day. But your past go trip like a vacation. Stutter around, let it hit. I say, wait. I got pain they can see in my face. It's a way for the gates. Drop a pants at time and a place. We gon' roll up a duck like skates. We gon' take you no need for a mate. Bobby the fish and I'm hungry, no switching up. Hit a script, not a split phone, I'm blowing up. I can't lose to the spirits that showing up. Growing the spirit, but they say I'm growing up. Super young, but the That's beautiful what you guys are doing. You guys are great. Amen. So watch this, read. And his brethren, Judah. So Jacob had Judah and his brothers. Now we found out that Moses and, Mar and Miriam, they came from Levi and they were AKA Hazers today. They were all black. Paul was from the tribe of Benjamin. In the Bible in Acts, it said he was black. So what tribe, the tribe of Judah, let's see what the tribe of Judah looked like. Jeremiah 14 and two. It's all right, y'all stay in here so y'all won't get wet. Watch this, Jeremiah 14 and two. The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 14 and verse 2, uh -huh. Judah mourneth. Now, now watch what the Bible says, my sister right here. It says Judah what? Judah mourneth. We found out that, that Benjamin, which was Paul, he was a black man. He looked like an Egyptian. Moses and Miriam, they look black. Watch what the Bible says. And the gates thereof language. Uh -huh. It says our leadership lack. Judah, their leadership lack. Read. They are black. Hold on. What are the Jews? They are black. Did you know that Judah's black? Okay, so now you got all three tribes in the Bible. We prove that they're black, right? So what happened to the Mexican? What happened to the Dominican? What happened to the Puerto Rican? What happened to the Cuban? Because remember, like, look, look at the, look at my skin, right? You see my hair? Do I have a hair like you? Can I get where, where are my damn locks? You know what I'm saying? I'm mad as hell. I don't got locks. Why? Because watch this. Watch this. Watch this, my brother. So, so give me Hosea seven and eight. Hosea seven and eight. Now the question is, what happened to the Jennifer Lopez's of the world? My, uh, what happened to the Latina woman, the Native American woman? Why she don't got woolly hair no more? Why the Mexican don't got woolly hair like that no more? Watch this. The book of Hosea, chapter seven and verse eight. Read. Ephraim, that Ephraim, he have mixed himself among the people. So the Latinos, we love to have sex with the white woman. The black Mexican had sex with the white woman and then now what the baby look like? Like me, you be like, damn. Because a lot of us, we look at each other, we're like, man, he look different. He don't look like me like that. But when you read about what happens to a black man that has sex with a Chinese woman, the baby starts looking a little Chinese, right? They call him black and or whatever they be trying to say. But at the end of the day, he gonna have some features of his mother. Give me 1 Kings 11 and the 1. Now I want to deal with black men. Because, hey, y'all have dominant genes. But then the, the other race, you have sex with them, and now your baby look a little bit white. Like uh, Curry, Steph Curry. Uh, who else? Uh, Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin don't look all black. Like, you know what I'm saying? You look at him, you're like, damn, I think he mixed, right? There's no such thing as mixed. Whatever your father is, that's what you are. Right. Bob Marley. Was he a black man? You know who Bob Marley was? Was he black? Yeah. Hell no, he wasn't black. When you look at his family, he's a white man. His ancestors are white, but he looked black. So that's why the Bible says you can't, you can't, you can't look at it and just say that that's what it is because you see it like that. You gotta, you gotta understand the scriptures. How you doing, sisters? Yeah, let me in here. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, you can get in here. Sister, I have a question. I have a question, sisters. What's your race? I appreciate y'all, brothers. Check the flyer out. What's your race, sis? I'm Haitian and white. Haitian and white. What's your father? Haitian. Haitian. Okay. What about you, sis? Puerto 
Clarissa. What's your race? Clarissa. I, I'm, oh, um, you been drinking? African American. All right, let's get that about drinking. No, huh? no. Look, you got, you got to get the script. You got to get the script. But I'm African American. Huh? You're yeah, African American. Right. Okay, African American. Okay, cool. So we're gonna deal with first with that, and while he's getting the scripture. So, all right, Haitian. Wait, this is Christian. Right? What? This is the Bible. We believe in the Bible. All the Bible. Parissa Wooten. I got you, sis. So. That's my mother. Okay. Okay. What happened to her? Um, nothing. All right. You just want us to pray for her, right? Yeah, that's so watch this. Pray. Read that. Isaiah chapter five and verse eleven. Uh -huh. Woe unto them that oh, rise up Lord. early in the morning. Uh -huh. A lot of our people wake up early at Myrtle Beach to do what? That they may follow strong drink. Strong drink means alcohol, Hennessy, right. all those, or gin, or vodka. So our people are waking up early to do what? Read it from the top again. Woe unto them. Woe means destruction to them. Right. That rise up early. That you wake up early to do what? In the morning, that they may follow strong drink. What happens to black women, Hispanic women, when they get drunk? Usually, they get they get they, uh, date raped. A lot of bad things happen when right. women get drunk. Pray. That's why that's why Pray. we out here trying to help you, sis. You are sister. We love you. You know All what I'm right. saying? So we're gonna read you this scripture. Give me Psalms 107 and 20. I like 20. that one song. I mean, I like that one scripture. Okay. Okay. So you will write it down. You got pen? No, no. I'm gonna show you the okay. one. Okay. Psalms chapter 107 and verse 20. Read. He sent his word and healed them. So what are we supposed to do to our sisters right here? Yeah. And healed them. We're supposed to heal you with the word of God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because our sisters, like, give me 1 Corinthians 3 16. Now what you got in your damn hand? Come on. Yeah, throw it on the ground. Throw it on the ground. You don't need that in your body. That's going to kill you. You got some too, sis? Come on, sis. No. Hey, hey, we want, look, I got a question. Y'all got children? Y'all got children? Okay, you say yes. You got nieces and nephews? No. Yes, People you love that are younger yes, than you? Yes. All right. I so I got a question. If you die tomorrow, are you going to be a good auntie? Yeah. If you die tomorrow, are you going to be able to be a good auntie? Oh, no. No, you oh, can't no. help them at all if you right. dead. Right. So God said you, well, he's, the, he's the God of the living. You're supposed to be doing things that are going to get you eternal life. Not things that are going to be put you to death that quick. All right, watch this. Read. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Read. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You are the temple of God. You, God made the black man in his image. And God, and then the man, Adam, he had the Eve, right? Eve was the first black woman. Right. Her. She, was, she was the first woman. Read. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So what's inside of my sisters right here? What did it say that this is inside I'm of y'all? I'm sorry. The spirit of God. God. Yeah. The spirit of God is in y'all, right? Yeah. But, but guess what? Wait. If you're defiling your temple, think about it. Let's say I put I put uh, uh, eat a nasty rat smell inside of your house. Wouldn't you come out coughing? Yeah. Right? If I bomb your house with smoke, right? You would come out coughing. That's what y'all are doing with your temple. Right. You got weed. You got, you got all types of stuff in your body and Christ is in there and you think he's going to stay in there with all that stuff in your in your temple? No, he's going to flee. He's going to leave. Right. He's going to leave you to your own ruin. Right. Now you think, guess what? If I get high, this dude don't even look ugly no more. Let me lay down with him. Now you have, you have sex with this dude and, and, and guess what? When you wake up the next day and you're sober, he ugly as hell. But he look good as hell to you when you were drunk because you're not sober. Let's go to sober, Timothy. Oh, yeah. Titus, my bad. So watch this, we're gonna deal with drunkenness because what we want is we wanna help y'all with this. Because y'all not really gonna really understand everything no, we're I talking about. Because when you drunk, um, go ahead, what you got? When you yeah, drunk what? You. you see you lost it. Because when you drunk, let's get that in first uh, uh first Ezra really? two about losing your memory. But give me that one first. The age woman likewise. Go ahead. That they be in behavior as becoming holiness. So all our women, right, our adult women are supposed to teach the younger women how to do good things in this world, right? How to love their husbands. We're gonna read it. But our older women today, they have failed us. Because guess what? Our older women, they go to the club. They 40 years old and they twerking no, all no, night. No, mama. No, uh, or maybe not your mama. But when we use the majority of our parents, they out there in the club, right? So guess what our children do? 15, 16 years old, we at the damn club, right, Reed? Right not there. false accusers, uh -huh. not given to much wine. That's the point. Right not right given right to much wine. Sis, look, what right. you got in your cup? What you got in your cup? Wait, hold on, wait. Nah, sis, I know what you got in your cup. It's not apple juice. juice. You know it's not no damn apple juice. It's liquor. So okay, you're supposed to be... Listen, God made wine or whatever. Y'all can 
He did. He did. It's not a sin to get uh to drink the wine. Wait, it's no. a sin to get drunk. Yeah, so is. when you're not sober, you're walking around like this sister came up no. and she couldn't even answer my question. And look, right, no. she wobbling a little bit. If she did that little test that the cops do, she would fail. She would go to jail. DUI, huh? Go ahead. We got teachers of good things uh -huh. that they may teach the young women uh -huh. to be sober. Hold up. The older women out here are supposed to be teaching the younger women to be sober. But guess what these older women in Myrtle Beach are doing? They getting drunk too. So if they getting drunk, that's why the young woman is getting drunk. Okay. How old are you, my sister? 21. 21, all right. What about you, my sister? 20. 20. All right, 20, 21. That's still young. All right. What you got? So I know that, like, getting drunk is bad. But uh -huh. drinking... But yeah. not to be drunk is a different thing. I got you. Yeah, so you can drink. Yeah. I never said you can't drink, sis. I don't drink to get drunk. I drink to get So you're not drunk. You're good. No, I'm not drunk. All right, cool. So you might be tipsy, but that's what I'm saying. I am tipsy. All right, watch this. But drunk, but you're 20. So watch this. You're 20, right? If a cop stopped you, let's just say. Let's just say, if a, okay, okay. Okay, if a cop stopped you, I'm still going to say it because I'm here to correct you. So if a cop stopped you, what would happen? And guess what? They really don't care about that. But watch this. Read the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 1. Uh -huh. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. The Bible says, let every spirit, all of us, we got to be subject to the higher power. Guess who the higher power is? The cops, the government, the rules of the world. Read. For there is no power but of God. And that's what you just said. So Christ is above all that. Read. The powers that be Go ahead. are ordained of God. So God gave the uh, authority to the cops. Because guess what? If there was no cops, we would all be dead. We shouldn't have. We know we would have all be dead. I'm letting you know. Some of them are evil. We know that. But if there was not cops, the black man will kill all the other black men. And there will be no damn Israelites on the planet no more. Right? Read. Verse 2. Who, whosoever, therefore, resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So this is for you, sis. It says, if you don't listen to the laws of America, how old you got to be to drink? 21. Thank you. There you go. You're 21, right? 21. So she's 20. So she breaking the laws of the land. That's a sin too, my sister. So look, look. Wait, even even though you said it's not a Wait. sin to drink, right, which is, is true. There's a lot of sins. You still before. break. I got you. Cut, you, know, and you who, who said that? Where? What scripture? Where? I don't know where. I know you don't know because it's not in there. I let you use Google. No, it is. You can use Google and you ain't gonna find it. No, I don't. No, Google is not. I got you, but even the Bible, I give you a Bible, you ain't gonna find it. We read the Bible every day. So watch this. I just want to deal with it. So you're 20. We already dealt with that sin. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Are you talking to your mom? I got you. I got you. But we're only dealing with the ones we can see right now. Cause remember, I can't read your mind. Let's say in your mind you like to kill people. After tonight, you about to go kill two people. I wouldn't know that, because that's your mom. Hey, how you doing? Oh, it started over. She, she, she hung up. She hung up. She hung up. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what do women wear today, sis? When you go to a bathroom, which bathroom you go to? The one that looks like a dress and the one that looks like pants? There you go. But what are you wearing today? Look at you. Let's close. All right. But it's cold, so, breeches. Breeches means it's split. Breeches. You ever heard of the word breeches? Pull up your britches. So these are shorts. These are also considered britches, right? So we're not, women are not supposed to wear that. Watch. That's what the Bible says. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. I can't put on a dress. I'm not supposed to be wearing no damn brawl out here, right? Watch what it says. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So abomination is like, you see that cup right there? Let's say you throw all the wine out. Let's say you throw all the liquor. And you start throwing up in there because your belly hurts. And then you give it to your sister right here and she drinks it. Would that be good? She should be drinking your throw up. Sis, would you drink her throw up? No, nah, that's abominable. So God says the way y'all are dressing right now is abomination. I like, yes, yeah, sis. I'm not supposed to be seeing your body. I'm married. Give me Matthew 5, 28. I want to show you something. Where your ring at? Huh? Their ring is a Roman custom. You're supposed to love your wife with your mind, not with a ring. When, when, I wanna, when, when, when people in the world want to cheat, they take the ring off, right? I was supposed to not cheat on my wife, not even with my mind, not even with my eyes. That's why a ring, yeah, that's why a ring don't matter. So I, I love my wife every day. I got to keep the commandments of my wife every day. So watch this.
28. Uh -huh. But I say unto you, watch this. that whosoever looketh now, on a woman. This is what he says. Hey, sis, right here. Sis, watch what he says. Read. That yeah. whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her. If a man look at your body and say, dang, I want that. He looks at your body, he says, dang, I want that. Read. Have yeah. committed adultery with her already in his heart. So a man, if he sees your body, right? Oh, I got a question. If you're uncovered, is it easier for a man to lust or if you're covered? It's easier to lust if you're uncovered, right? So watch this. I got a question. Are you trying to help men when you leave the house uncovered, or are you trying to destroy men? No, but I feel like... How are you helping me? Watch this. I'm married. How are you helping me if you're showing me your body right now? Okay. How does that help? Maybe I need to put it up. I got you. You should put it up. Yeah, but watch this. We're going to read it in the Bible. I want you to know that the Bible said it, not me, because I'm nobody. Watch what the Bible says. Read. Read it again. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 28. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her uh, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. This, go ahead. Now, 1 John 3 yeah. and 15. Now, sis, you see all these people? I could tell you, Jordan. I could tell that it, no, it got you. No, that look, spirit got listen, you. No. But watch this. I'm going to show no, you. Scripture. Listen, no, listen. You can tell that we don't need to have our clothes off and stuff. The book of 1 John, it's cover up, you gotta cover up. To you got a jacket, you can put a jacket on. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 15. Uh -huh. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. God says, if you hate me by not wearing clothes, you're a what? A murderer. I see a lot of murderers out here. I see a lot of women showing their ass. So guess what? They murdering their neighbor. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's like me giving weed to children. Would you would you let me give weed to children? Hell no. All right, all right. What about crack? Can I give crack to children? Crack? Hell okay. no. Okay. So kid. I'm not supposed to be trying to murder my brothers, right? Yeah. So when you dress immodestly, you're trying to murder, murder your you. brothers. Yeah, That's right. what the Bible said. Read it again. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Uh huh. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. So what we want to do is we want you to get eternal life. But you're not going to get eternal life dressed like that, sis. So you got to come out of that, and you got to learn how to dress. Sis, you okay, have to pull I it down. I God will love you however you are. All right, first, uh, give me Ephesians. I mean, Zephaniah, one day. I got you. Because every time you say something, right, the Bible says all scripture is given by the inspiration of God for correction. Whatever you say, if it's wrong, sis, Everything I'm going to correct you. Everything in the Bible is not correct, though. Yes, it is. No, Tell no, me no, one no. thing that's wrong there. I, I'm not going to say everything is wrong, but everything is not wrong, right, though. No, Tell no, me what's wrong. Y'all cannot say it was made by the man that okay, repeated and, and repeated. I got a question, because I know you're drinking. No, so, Okay, no, I'm, I'm dealing with both of y'all. So I got a question, because you said what you just said. So me finding a wife, is that wrong? Because that's what the Bible talks about. What about me not fighting a black brother because I know he's my brother? Is that wrong? I should not fight a black brother, right? What about stealing? Should I not steal? That's right. Give me uh, Psalms right. 19 and 7. Every, right. every scripture in the Bible is good, sis, because yeah. every scripture teaches us it how is. to be better people. Yeah. So you can't say that the Bible is wrong if every scripture teaches you how to be better. Yeah. Every you scripture right. teaches you how to be better. Watch this, Psalms 19 and 7. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. Every, guess what? This is the book of the law. Right. So that means every word is the law. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. This yeah. book is perfect. The whole book, because it's inspired by God, read. Converting the soul. And it converts you. The more you read it, the more you can kill your old man. Right. The woman, or the old woman. Right. The woman that wears blonde hair in her head. Right. The woman that wears immodest clothing. The woman that had the black and mild in her head. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Read. Making wise the simple. So guess what? All of us, you see all these men? I want you to look at the men. See all these Wait, men? Wait, I want to know how Look at the men. Look at the men. Look at the men. All these men, at one time, yeah. we were in the world trying to be hoes oh, and trying to smoke weed right. and trying to get tattoos all right. the damn time. And we didn't know anything. Give me that, Titus 3 and 3. Yep, you got me. I'm in the spirit. The book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 3. Watch this. Yeah. we ourselves huh? also were sometimes foolish. Now, I didn't tell you to look yes. so you can lust after the brothers. I didn't take a look and say, ooh, look at that one right there. I just want you to look at them and understand that they used to be destroyed. We used to didn't care about our women. Right. We had girlfriends, right. meaning we didn't want no damn wife. We used them like a piece of meat, right. like a blow up dog. Right. That means we weren't good men, right? right? But look at these men now. They have become good men. Right. Right. They love God now, right? Read. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So we used to be foolish, read. Disobedient. We didn't listen to our parents. We didn't listen what? to the Bible, read. Deceived. Right. We were deceived because guess what? You see that damn image right there? Look, my sister right here. The, the, one, that, the, one, that, the one that's drinking too much. 
You see this man right here? This is what you look like. You look like a black woman trying to be a white man. That's what you look like. But you're not. You're beautiful. According to what God made you, you are beautiful. But you got to learn to love yourself. The Bible says if you can't love yourself, you can't love your children. If you can't love yourself, you can't love your husband, sis. No, 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 no. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, sis. Hold on. Read. Serving diverse lusts uh -huh. and pleasures. Go ahead. Living in malice. So diverse lust meaning, guess what? When you see these men, we used to go to the beach to look for women. That's what we used to do. It said we used to. We don't do that. Hey, raise your hand if you're married. Watch this. Look at these men. Okay. Raise your hand. When have you seen black men no, that I'm are married uh, and only be with one woman? And don't be lusting after the women out here with booty shorts and damn uh, um, thongs on. Read. Serving divers lust. Uh -huh. Come on. Living in malice and envy. Hateful and hating one another. So it's, it's the end of black on black crime when you come to the Bible, sis. Yes. There's, the, there's the end of abortion when you come back to the, black, to the Bible, sis. Right. We're not supposed to commit abortion. You know what's going to happen tonight? People are going to have sex and then they're going to do plan B. And that is abortion. Exactly. And that is murder. That is murder. So we're not trying to do that. So I got a question. You, you got a boyfriend? No. So you smile. And just answer truthfully. Okay, you don't have no boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? No, 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 no. no. The mic is for me. Do you have Do you have a boyfriend? Okay, cool. Have you ever had sex? Yes. Have you ever had sex? Okay, so watch this. Now we can work with you. Give me first. No, watch this. No, first Timothy's 1 and 9. Watch this. We're going to help you out. We're going to help you out. This is not to condemn you. This is to help you out. So when Christ come back, he don't put you to death. Watch this. Read. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9. Read. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. So the law, look, this is called the book of the law, right? The Bible was not made for somebody to think he got it all. The Bible was made for people that are sick, that are drunk, that are whoremongers, right, right. that love to get tattooed. Right. The Bible was written for those people. Because guess what? I got a tattoo. Since I see you got a tattoo. I used to have a tattoo. These brothers out here got tattoos. Yeah, but guess what? That's right. But never get another one. Right. Because then that means you repented from getting tattooed. Right. Watch this. Read. Okay, sis, read. But for a lawless. Uh -huh. this so hold on, hold on. What does America teach the black woman to be? But for a lawless. You're lawless today. Because America teaches you that you don't have to keep the damn laws. That's right. what they say in the church. Read. And disobedient. And you don't listen to nobody. Oh, you can't tell me what to do. I'm a damn woman. I'm an independent woman. Right. But how you independent but you do everything the white man tells you to do? Right. You can't be independent if you depend on another race for everything you got. Right. Even your hair. Right. Even the way you dress. Right. Even to go from another country. Country to another country. Right. You gotta get a, a passport. Read. For the ungodly. For the ungodly. Our women are ungodly as hell. Right. Our right. men are ungodly. Read. Right. And for sinners. For sinners. Because guess what? Christians always say we're all sinners. If we're all sinners, that means the law is still in effect. Right. Right. So they can't teach that the laws don't exist. Read. No way. No for way. unholy. And profane. Read. For murderers. Hold on now. I want to get deep right here. Watch what say. For what? For murderers. So when you dress like you dress right now, you're a murderer. Read. A fathers. And guess what? There's men out here that are fathers. And they want to commit adultery with you. So you're a murderer of what? A father. So you're a murderer of someone's father. He's going to get a divorce because he went with a 20-year-old one, a 21, or a 20-year-old uh, woman. Read. And murderers of mothers. And there's going to be what? They say male or whatever, they say MILF, right? Milf. Yeah, they want to have sex with a MILF, right? That's what they be saying. They're going to be murderers. They're going to be destroying households today. That's what these kids are going to be doing. Read. Because guess what? That old lady want to have sex with a 19-year-old dude. Yeah. Read. For manslayers. For manslayers. Read. For whoremongers. Whoremongers is what they're doing tonight and even right now. Read. For them that defile themselves with mankind. And guess what? It's homosexuality out here. God said he's against that. Right. The Bible is so we can heal the people that out here. I saw a grown-ass man dressed like a woman. He came up here. Right. He had all the, 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 the tendencies of a damn woman, but he looked like Jesus the Christ. How the hell did they transform the man that looked like Christ into an effeminate man? It's called drugs. And now we're not talking about physical drugs. We're talking about this damn drug right here. This is the drug that they destroyed our people with. In slavery, they beat the hell out of us unless we learn about this white Jesus. All right, read. Come on, for men stealers. Read. For oh. not men stealers is talking about child abduction. Have you ever seen, uh, what's that movie called? Um, Sounds of Freedom. You ever seen that? Sounds of Freedom? It just came out. You should watch it but 
is gonna piss you off because what they did was they would go. Okay, okay. Roots is about slavery. Sounds of Freedom is about how they kidnap our children in Mexico, Puerto Rico, Ecuador, and they sell them for sex. Five years old, he's being raped by multiple men. That's what we know. That movie, when you watch that movie, it should piss you off. Because guess what? When you go to Walmart, who's missing on the damn billboards? Black women, Hispanic women, Native American women. Yeah, they got one white woman, Becky. But guess what? It's they usually our Becky people. First. Watch this. Yeah, they're going to find Becky first because they're going to use face recognition for her ass. But for us, uh, they're going to act like they don't know where we at. Uh, Read. For liars. For what? For liars. So the Bible's for liars. Christmas is a damn lie. Right, right. Halloween is a damn lie. Right, right. June, 10th, June 19th is a damn lie. Right. Myrtle Beach. All this fun that you guys think is uh is for you, it's a damn lie. It's to keep you in slavery, sis. Read. For purging a person. Read. And if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. So the Bible destroys everything else that doesn't go against that goes against God, right? But read, read. I want to get to the point. Read. According to the glorious gospel. According to what? According to the glorious gospel. The people don't know the gospel. Right. America doesn't teach black people the gospel. They go to church every damn Sunday, and they're still crackheads in the damn corner. They're still drug, uh, uh, drug lords on the, on the corners. Why? Because the church don't help our people, sis. So guess what? What did you learn? What did you learn that helped you today? What can't you do? Tell me some things you can't do now. At first, you thought you could do it, but now you can't do it. What you know? Just tell me. Just tell me. I can hear you. No, no. The mic is for the teacher. Come on, sis. You don't have to be childish. Hey, you sound like my child. Give me the mic. If not, I won't be good. What? All right, well, I learned All right tell me. Tell me what you learned. What's a, what's, what's a sin that you might be committing right now that you need to learn I mean, to not I'm do? I'm drinking, I mean, but okay. I'm not drinking You're not drunk. Get drunk though. What about your clothes? My clothes, I never wear, like, like if I go out, I've been trying to change my dressing. Anyway. Okay, but what did the Bible say? What are you supposed to wear? So I'm doing murder. I know, no, okay, you're doing murder, but what are you supposed to wear so you won't do murder? We don't know. I mean, my jacket, but I'm Deuteronomy not going to wear my jacket. We're going to read it again. Yeah, read it again. Remember, we jacket. talked about the bathroom. What does the woman have in the picture in the bathroom? The dress. What? So what does women have to wear? Thank you, because the dress covers you up. Uh, yeah, let's read it. Let's read it. The book of First Timothy, chapter two, verse nine. And like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel means not showing sexual attention, right? So I shouldn't see your cleavage. I shouldn't see the camel toe. I shouldn't see the butt. You hear me? You, I shouldn't see nothing yeah. part of your body, right? Read with shamefacedness uh, and sobriety. So Brody means you can't be drunk. You got to learn how to dress right, and you got to learn how to get drunk, sis. Now you, my sister right here, I know you didn't drink as much as this sister, but if you love your neighbor, should you let her get drunk? No. Nah. So you right. you, you know broke that law. You can't nobody else either. You can't but you tell broke, nobody what to do. No, you can tell her what to do. Give me Matthew 7 and 1. No, you can't stop her watch this. Doing. I'm going to show you you can tell her what to do. No, but watch this. Can't. Yes, this is in the Bible. Read. The book of Matthew. Chapter uh, she's the oldest. No, no, she's the oldest. 21, 20. How did she get looking at? Yeah. How, how did she get liquor? Jesus. How you get liquor? Yeah, that's I mean, a good question. I'm 22. I'm 21. Yo, okay. So, so now you're lying about your ages. Cause earlier you said 20 and 21. She's 22. She's 22. Oh, what Listen, about you? Um, don't lie. Don't lie, sis. How old are you? You're 20, right? Yeah. Okay. So how did you get the liquor? The officer asked a great question. Who gave you the liquor, though? Okay, no. Who gave it to you? A black brother Jesus. down the street? A crackhead down the street? What, what was it? Mexican dude? Jesus gave who gave it to you? Jesus. Jesus did not give her the liquor. Right? I mean, say it again. Yeah. Answer the question. Her people. But either way, I have my sister ID. I'll be using her. I got you. I got you. So you're deceitful. You're deceitful. That's why we read you the scripture. I'm deceitful. Yeah, that's a lie. Yeah. You can't lie about your age. These brothers you are saying, sis, we are the gods of this earth. And God sent this out here to restore the decay of state of our people. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, Christ said, said, we, ye are God. Ye are what? God. We are not brother the best, sis. When we come back to this Bible, we are God. It's one thing to know Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible, but I didn't know God didn't care about no other race on the planet but mine.
This shit is family. This shit is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.